Hello designers, today we're going to take a look at the latest design feature that'll help you with camera perspectives. Now just to be very clear, currently at the time of recording this video, this feature is only available with the character feature. If you take a look at the left panel, you'll see the option here called camera and there are various positions and perspectives that'll help with composing your image. Now before we talk about why the camera feature is so helpful, I have a prompt here of my character and ideally I'd want sort of a full body shot with her looking away. It's supposed to be more of a candid shot. And if you look at the example here, you see, okay, she's full body here and looking away, actually prompted to look to the right. But if we look at this one here, she's looking to her left, my right, and it's not full body. Couple more examples of kind of the same thing where it's sort of just random and you'll end up generating image after image trying to find the perfect composition. Now with the camera feature, let's go to the left panel. You'll see it here under your prompt box. If we click on it, you see that there are two sections, character direction. You have front view, back view, left view, and right view. And then below it, we have the camera shot. Close up, upper body, full body, and wide shot. For example, let's say I wanted a right perspective and the camera shot, we're gonna pick upper body. Now, just to show you, I'm gonna remove in the prompt the direction she's looking. Let's generate about four images. And as we look at the examples here, we see the right perspective, meaning the right side of her face, the right shoulder. We also see the upper body shot, which is typically waist up. Sometimes it could be knee up, just like in this example, where it's just below the knees and then here as well. Now let's change it to the front view and then we're gonna do a full body camera shot. But this time we're gonna change the aspect ratio to four by three. We'll generate another four images. Typically what happens is when you use a landscape aspect ratio or 69, even though you prompt for a full body shot, chances are you're going to get an upper body shot or at least the legs will be cut off. But you see here with the camera feature, four out of four images, we see from head to toe, a full body shot in the aspect ratio of four by three. You'll be smiling just like rain here because you no longer have to fight for the right composition. Here's a few more examples of some random images in different aspect ratios. All three of these are front view. We have right for the character direction, Again, notice that it's the right side of her face pointing towards the camera. We have a front view here looking directly at the camera. And then this one here is a left perspective. Looking at full body with an aspect ratio of one to one, we have just a standard full body and then we have front view wide. Now you'll notice the difference between wide and full. Full is a bit more tightly cropped Whereas wide, you get a bit more space on the sides and the top. Your character will likely be a little bit smaller and you'll see more of the background here. Another example of full versus wide in a four by three landscape aspect ratio and another full body versus wide in a 69 aspect ratio. And you can really tell the wide angle here by the sharpness of the angles of the street and how narrow it is. What's really great about having this, you can also do a lot of nice candid shots. So we have the right and left perspective and in the prompt, I just put candid photo, rain is looking away and it increases the chance of getting these candid type photos. Using the back perspective is so very helpful to get these looking over the shoulder type of shots. Prompting for something like this can be really difficult, but with the camera feature, I just set it up to back. We have close up here, full body and upper body. Now, if you're into wallpaper or very wide type of images, that's also possible with a little bit of work. This was actually originally 16 by nine and I basically just use the expand tool. As a bonus, let me show you how that's done. So I did start with 16.9. So all you need to do is make sure the image is highlighted. 
on the left panel, you want to click on AI Editor. You'll see various options. The one we're looking for here is Generative Expand. This is otherwise known as Outpainting, and you can do it from each side. You can increase the top and bottom if you want. I'm going to leave the top, but just do a little bit of the bottom, and we'll make it just slightly wider. You could put a very basic prompt in here, but you want to avoid the subject itself. If anything, maybe you just want to mention the road and the wet streets. But in this case, I'm just going to go analog photo in a wide angle view, and that should be good enough. If it doesn't turn out well, then it might be better to add more specific details. And just like that, we have an even more wider angle view. It looks very seamless, very natural looking, and it was done pretty easily with very little effort. As always, my friends, let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, since we're talking about camera perspectives, make sure to check out this video on Hailuo's video camera controls. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.